Proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. All right. So the proving is soon. And I finally get to play a full grown up character. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Ooh. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. The North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a Tripcaster, and no other traitor will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Well then. Uh, three gather blades from Striers, gather metal shards from machines. Something's really bothering him.
see me? I just got destroyed. Please, I need your help. Who? Please, a word? You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle. And I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Okay. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. 
Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Buy it. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. You have the fire arrows? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Man, what are we about to do? Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth. I mean, something new. Something angry. <coughs> Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Okay, let's see. 
Where can I place my traps? use without ammo. That's got their attention. Got it? What did I do? I'm not sure what I did. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn, and remember it, after the proving, and after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Follow. Well then, I don't know how I killed it. Dawn has passed. Unless this will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way.
Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast to be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Well, that was interesting. I still don't know. It'll be daybreak soon. I have no idea how I just beat that thing. Unless it was like residual fire, like it was burning. Because I got lit up pretty good and bailed behind a rock. So episode three, story is getting interesting. I still have no idea who I am, although that certainly seems to be the main theme of the game, so I'm not too surprised I haven't learned anything yet. It seems like there's a lot of the Proving Grounds, like, courses all throughout, so I think I can run through those and just, like, randomly practice. I might do that a little bit. I need to collect a lot more stuff uh, materials and that and go back to that trading post and get some more weapons and such because it seems like he's got a lot of stuff that could as he said prove to be handy in the proving to give me a little bit of an edge that was it sawtooth <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how I killed it because um, as you saw I planted my trip wires and then he, I got a pretty good amount of damage on him, but then he laid into me pretty good, and then I bailed, and it, he blew up as I was on the other side of a rock trying to hide. So I'm thinking I set him on fire, and he just kind of continued to burn. So apparently fire arrows seem to have continuing damage, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's episode three. So... I'll be back next Saturday with the next episode. See where we go from here. Rob is back now. He's got his PC up and running. He just got one built. So he will be back in the swing of things. We're looking at moving to a third video every week. Not sure what that one will be. I think now that we both kind of have a... We both have a game we're going to do a gameplay of. The third one will kind of bounce around. I know I'm looking forward to doing... PSVR uh, Farpoint that comes out May 16th so I'll be here with that very excited about that one other than that if you're liking what you see please hit the subscribe button hit that like button leave us some comments we'd love to hear back some suggestions critiques we're open to them let us know what you like what you don't like other than that I'll see you guys next week